Jillian, you are stunning. Smart, strong, sweet, loyal, extremely focused, and goal-oriented ever since your large personality first emerged as just a tiny infant. Jill, thank you for being wonderful. To my new son-in-law, Andrew, I know you're extremely competitive, so feel free to compete with Brendan to be my favorite. Since meeting you, I must say, I've been very impressed with your kind, fun, dog-loving personality. I'm entrusting you with my little girl's happiness. Please take good care of her. I know you will. So Jill and Andrew, congratulations on finding one another, and I wish you a lifetime of World Series, Super Bowls, NBA Finals, gourmet meals, rock and concerts, and world travel, all while sitting in the best seats of life. I know you both feel any seat is great as long as you're sitting next to one another. So take a deep breath tonight. I want to breathe you in. I finally know how to fight. It takes your hearts to win. Time is up. Only in a me. Jill, as we got to know you through the years, we realized you're just perfect for Andrew. Your calm demeanor, your fun attitude, and your saint-like patience, which can only be acquired as being a middle child, work in counterbalance to Andrew's passion, your focus, and your competitive spirit. And it's really easy to see the partnership in action through the many traditions you two have put together in such a short time, whether it be the national hot dog uh, traditions with Lou or your love for pool inflatables, and you work so well together. Andrew, you've been a fantastic brother and a friend to us over the years, and it has been an absolute honor to be your best man today. Jill is a kind and beautiful young lady, and I can see the love you two have for one another. I'm Jill's older sister, but I prefer Irish twin. Jill is the middle sister. Although she's in the middle, she never had any problem standing out. A lot of speeches that I read and things I watched on YouTube said to say a memory or a story about the beautiful bride. Unfortunately, there's no way I could ever pick one story. Jill's in every memory, 